Greetings, friends. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I'm coming to you today from somewhere in Florida. That's all we'll say. <laughs> I'm traveling, and I thought you might like to see what's inside my Shave Nation Dop Kit. It's a good sized Dop Kit. It's extra large, I would say, bigger than my head. <laughs> you can see how large it is. It carries a lot of things. One zippered compartment on the outside, right here. One large zipper compartment all the way around the top and it opens up and then a nice handle to carry everything easily. Let's check this small outside zippered compartment first. See what's in here. Lots of blades. Let's see what we have. I put a bunch of blades in here just for this trip. I've got some Mercure made in Germany blades, Persona Platinum Red package, Astra Superior Platinum. These are the ones made in India not the previous ones made in Russia. More Persona Super blades, just singles here, made in USA. I've got some Kai double edge blades right here, made in Japan. And of course, my all-time favorite blade, the Feather High Stainless, made in Japan as well. And then here I've got some miscellaneous, just inside one wrapper. This is the Treat Carbon Steel Blade. Let me show you what it looks like. Hopefully it's in here. Yes, it is. Okay. Let me get that out without stabbing myself because I've got some other blades in here too, just loosely wrapped. But here's the treat. They call this the Black Beauty blade right there. It's a carbon steel blade. It's black. Pretty cool looking blade. And then some of the other things in here, I've got half blades that are already pre-split. A few of them. Platinum coated. Made in the EU. A few different ones. Another Astra Superior Platinum. This made in the EU is the Fatih blade. That's a half blade I've split. So I've got a good variety of blades to play around with while I'm here. Let's get into the large portion of the DOP case. Open it up. It's a double zipper. Here's a peek inside. You can see all those goodies in there. Stay with me till the end because I have something cool to show you. Here's a quick look. We'll get to that later. Number one, here we go. Some flossers. I like these as opposed to the stringy dental floss. Got some Sensodyne toothpaste. Extra whitening. A toothbrush. I usually use a motorized toothbrush, but for this trip, I just tossed in a brand new old school manual type toothbrush. Here we go. Let's get into this. You know, one of my favorite shaving creams had to bring a tub of this. We did check one bag, so I was able to put all these items in there. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to bring big things like this or the razor blades onto the plane, not in the carry-on. You can check out my video about TSA and traveling and razors and shaving supplies. I'll put a link. You can check that out. Let's see what else we got. Totally unrelated to shaving, but there's some BioFreeze. Just in case you get a little sore muscle from a workout on the trip. Here is a Parker A1R double-edged safety razor. Let's take a quick look. It comes in this nice snap leather case, and it's got the handle and then the head. Just screw it together. This is the Mercure. This is the flat bar travel razor. Also comes in an open comb or open tooth bar safety razor. This is the handle, two pieces that screw together, and then the head inside there. Let's see what else we have. Okay, the Purasso Travel Kit, which is a great little kit for traveling. It comes in a little cardboard box. I've since gotten rid of the box, but here's a little tube of shaving cream, Purasso. Here is the Purasso Pre-Shave little jar. Here is the Purasso Aftershave Balm. And there's a little cute little baby brush made by Purasso as well. Just enough to get yourself a lather and actually very easy to apply the shaving cream directly under your nose with this little baby brush. Not really good for whipping up thick lather, but this is good for just a quick lather when you need to. Let's see what else we have. Oh, for that occasional oops moment, if you get a nick, Parasso Repair Gel, Styptic Gel. You just take this a little dab. It's a clear gel. Apply it to the nick and that will seal it off. Gel Reparatory, Repair Gel. 
I think this has been in here for my last trip. This is a Edwin Jagger Chadsworth razor, safety razor, chrome up on top, and then like a resin handle. Here's the Edwin Jagger logo on it. You can see that? That was in there for my last trip. I didn't even know it was in there. But I did bring a progress razor. I thought I would play around with this, do a few shaves with it. I like the adjustability, the Mercure Progress. It's fun to shave with this because it's adjustable, so you can play around with first pass on a six, second pass on a three, final pass on a one, all the way down. Very versatile razor, one of the most popular adjustable razors out there. Time-tested classic for sure. I brought a couple of shaving brushes. Here is an Edwin Jagger travel brush. Inside this little cylinder, all you do is unscrew it. This screws into this portion. Oops. This will screw into this ring right here. And then this ring. I don't want to drop anything because if it rolls off, I'm 14 floors up. Don't want that to happen. Here's the fully assembled brush. There's a look at that right there. Here's the Shave Nation travel brush. Black ebony case. All you do is unscrew the handle, loosen it up, and then it pops right out. You can take this, screw it right back in, and there you go, voila. It's a nice thick handle, feels really good in the hand. Nice badger brush right there. What else do we have? Oh, got some antiperspirant. I like this, it's a natural deodorant. It's charcoal and magnesium. Been using this for a while, I like it. Aside from that, I will also use Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block to finish off my shave and also a deodorant as well. You want to bring two of these, which I did not. I only brought one. So this will be specifically for my face, but normally I'd have another one for the pits as well because it's a good deodorant. Then, oh, here's a tongue scraper. After I brush my teeth, I scrape my tongue, keep it nice and clean. We sell these tubes in three different sizes, small, large, and extra large. Simpsons, Handmade, Great Britain. So it's a plastic case. This is the small one. It'll fit a lot of the smaller brushes. This is the case best badger shaving brush right there. So when you're done shaving, just drop it right in there, replace the cap like so. And you can see it's got some drainage holes on the bottom. So the brush doesn't mold while it's inside the case. I would still squeeze it out, shake it, wipe it across a towel and then let it dry maybe overnight and then just place it back in the case. Okay, here's the last thing that I have not shown you yet. Let's get to it. This thing, somebody sent me this a long time ago and I'm like, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. I think I even did a video on this in the past asking for assistance if anybody knows what this is. Didn't really get a good response, but I have since figured out exactly what it is and I will show you right now. I've got this half blade here that I cut with my scissors, which is another video, a short video that you can check out. Instead of snapping it and you wind up with the hooks, when you snap a blade, you wind up with these little hooks on the end, how it kind of curves outward and it's hard to install in the shavette. If you cut it with the scissors, I'll put a link to the video, you can check that out. You don't get those hooks and it's a lot easier to install the half blade in your shavette. But what this does, you take the half blade, you start on this edge, on this smaller end and you just insert that into this so it just slides into the end of the razor as i showed you and then here it is it protrudes out the bottom you can see so it is curved this is really good for lineups because you can see very well over it you can line up your sideburns also excellent for scooping directly under the nose so that's pretty cool i don't think i'd shave my entire face with it but it is really good for doing lineups as you can see very well with it. There it is. It's stainless steel. The blade just slides in. And when you're done, you just grab it from the end and just pull it right out. That's it, just like that. To load it up, just take the half blade, slide it in from the edge, like so. Push it till it seats. I still leave a little bit of it hanging out so it'll be easy to grab when you want to remove it, like so. That's it. Something very unique, I would just call it a curvy stainless steel lineup tool until I think of a better name for it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that look through my dop kit. 
It's an OGO DAP kit, OGO, Shave Nation, embroidered logo on the outside face of it. Pretty sharp. And as I said, it's one of your biggest DAP kits you're going to find. Excellent for traveling and holding a lot of different things if you like to bring a lot of things with you, as I do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 700 videos, shaving and more. If you want to pick up any of these items, most of these items are available. Just click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.